Is vermicelli upma blood sugar friendly? With PCOS and insulin resistance, I'm always looking for meals that keep my glucose steady. Today, I'm having a bowl of vermicelli upma for breakfast made with 55 grams of roasted vermicelli along with some peanuts and vegetables. The meal has around 450 calories in total. I'm tracking my blood sugar with a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 71 mg per dl and took 2.5 hours to return to baseline. So is this a good or bad spike? With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was much higher than my target range and it wasn't good for my blood sugar stability. In my previous test with Suji Upma, my glucose rose by 52 mg per dl and took 1.5 hours to normalize. This time, the spike was much higher and longer. So Suji Upma is better in comparison and the overall still not great. Interestingly, vermicelli is also made of Suji or semolina but there was still a big difference in results. So why did this happen? Vermicelli is finely milled, roasted and low in fibre making it digest quickly and spike glucose faster. Upma with its coarser texture digests more slowly and results in a more gradual glucose rise. Overall, the spike was too high and this meal was not the best for my blood sugar control. Let me know what you think in the comments below.